Good evening and welcome to Lowell Zoning Board of Appeals public hearing for August 6, 2021. Uh, if you're present and you have a cell phone, please turn it off and take calls outside and communicate outside as well. If you wish to speak in favor or in opposition to a petition during public hearing, please come to the lectern and state your name and address for the public record. Uh, this meeting is live on LTC. Members of the public can Zoom and call in and all documents are loaded up on the website. Beginning to continue business, ZBA 2021-21 variance is at Larkin Real Estate Group, 380 Lawrence Street, section 6.1, Larkin Real Estate Group has applied to the Zoning Board of Appeals seeking variance approval to construct a three-story, 35-unit lodging house at 30, 380 Lawrence Street. The property is located in the neighborhood business NB zoning district and requires variance approval per section 6.1 and any other relief required under the zoning ordinance. He's on I'm here on Zoom, Chair. Can you hear me okay? We can't really hear him. Good evening, sir. If you could speak a little bit about, state your name and address for the record and give us a little background on your petition, please. Yes, uh, so I actually did send in an email to uh, the city today. So the applicant has reviewed the city comments and done an internal review. And there's a time where they were not moved, they will not be moving forward with this application and looking to withdraw this uh, application before the board without prejudice. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We did hear that. Uh, the audio is back on now. Thank you. So you're going to wish to withdraw without prejudice. That being said, we have a motion. Through you, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on ZB 2021-21 for 380 Lawrence Street to withdraw the petitioner's application without prejudice. We have a second. I'll second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Second by Mr. Vice Chair, may I have a roll call? Uh, Chairman Perrin. Uh, accept withdrawal without prejudice. <coughs> Member Peck. Accept withdrawal without prejudice. Member Callahan. Accept withdrawal without prejudice. Member Briere. Accept withdrawal. Member Proco. Accept withdrawal. So, sir, you, uh, your request has been granted by the Loan Zoning Board. We wish you the best of luck. Appreciate your time, Mr. Chairman and the Board. Thank you. Thank Take you. Care. Enjoy the remaining of your summer. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to new business, ZBA 2021-27 for a variance, George and Shayla Welsh at 77 Constant Drive, section 4.3.5.4, section 4, section 5.1, George K. Welsh and Shayla M. Welsh have applied for variance approval to legal legalize an existing shed and mudroom that were constructed without the benefit of the permit at 77 Constant Drive. The property is located in the suburban neighborhood single family SSF zoning district and requires variance approval for relief from the shed setback per section 4.3.5 subsection 4, relief from the side yard setback per section 5.1, and for any other relief required under the local zoning ordinance. Is there a petitioner here this evening? Mr. Welsh. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Just give us a brief outline of why we're here tonight. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, my name is George Kenneth Welch. I'm with my wife, Sheila. Welcome. Um, back in September of 87, we purchased a lot on Constance Drive in Lowell to construct a single family with submittal required plans and documents to satisfy Lowell Planning Department and Zoning Board regulations. During the time at the property, we have constructed a shed in 1993 at the rear of the property. And in 95, we constructed an eight foot by 14 mudroom on the driveway side of the house. Both structures are within the property line. There was no intent of disregarding lot lines or circumventing ZBA requirements. However, we were unfamiliar of the zoning board regulations contributed to this issue at hand. We, the Welch family, have lived there for 33 years and have maintained a healthy property with pride of ownership and respect of our neighbors. We've engaged with the neighbors to ensure the construction of the mudroom and shed at the rear of the lot would not be a hindrance or invasion on property lines and privacy within their yard or home. There was no objection to demand to cease these additions at that time. In the spring of 2020, 
we received notice by the City of Lowell and Spectral Services that the additions in questions, both the mudroom and shed, required a zoning variance of side yard and rear yard setback. Upon notice, um, we sought professional advice and discovered they indeed are required to have a site variance for both side setbacks under ZBA regulations. We maintain there was no malice, no disregard for Z ZBA regulations, and the bills were to enhance their living space, or our living space, and storage space for our family. We, the owners, have been informed and required for the variance approval under Section 5.1, dimensional requirements under the City of Lowell Zoning Board Appeals Regulations. We, the owners, state the additions were built to satisfy space needs and was not an intent to violate ZBA rules. We, at variance, we, the Welch family, request a variance at 77 Constance Drive under dimensional requirements for the following. Side yard setback for existing mudroom for a 12 foot by five inch to be a budding property of the Draper family at 85 Constance Drive in Lowell. Also a side setback and rear setback for an existing shed at the rear of the property at Constance Drive to the abutting property of the, of the state forest. In conclusion, this variance approval is not a detriment to the public good as the structure are within the homeowner's property and there is no issue with the direct abutter at 85 Constance Drive. This variance does not substantially derogate from the intent to zoning and there is no malice or intent to violate ZBA regulations. Thank you very much, Mr. Welsh. Okay. We appreciate uh, your candor and outlining in detail uh, the communication here. Uh, for the record, um, submittal of uh, neighborhood um, participants in, in favor of this, um, stating that it does not affect them in any way and the Welsh family is a great neighbor uh, and very well aware of their situation over there. Um, that being said, I'd like to open up to the public. Anyone wishing to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? No one on Zoom? In favor? No? Anyone wishing to speak in favor? That portion of public hearing is now closed. Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? In opposition? In opposition? That portion of public hearing is now closed. I'd like to open up to the board, ma'am. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you for that summary and history of the, the project, Mr. Welch. I, to me, I think this is more of like a clerical, um, just a formality. Um, it, it doesn't, you know, affect the neighborhood or the of the city in a negative way. It actually adds on to the home, but also to the neighborhood. Um, and I, I've heard the neighbors are in support of this. So um, to me, it's just a formality just to, to rectify. And in total, I think you need less than five feet of, um, of relief in total side and where you are set back and all that. So overall, I think this is a great addition, a great project. And you know, I hope, hopefully this has been useful to you and your family over the years. So I have no objections. I wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Van Sean. Uh, thank you to you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Walsh, for, you know, for your presentation. Um, it, that this is, I agree with Van. This is, there's minimal relief that uh, needs to be requested here, especially on the mudroom side was 0 0.84 uh, feet of uh, being requested. Um, the neighbors are, are in uh, agreement with this, and, you know, this is pretty straightforward. I appreciate you coming before the board. Um, once you did, once it was dis this discovery was made, um, instead of just letting it go, because who knows where we'd have gone down the line. You know, if we sell the property and then other something else, other people move in and they have problems. So, but um, it's good that you're coming before us to get this taken care of. So, um, I would be in full favor of this, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Sean Mark. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, the relief is is minimal. And you've obviously lived in harmony with the neighbors for over 30 years with this structure being there. I support the petition. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Judge? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, to me, this seems like a procedural oversight that took place back in 1993 that has no impact to your neighbors, to the neighborhood. So I would fully support this. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. So I, I, I have no further I have no com, uh, further questions or comments. I, I will say that it's it's a very well maintained home. It's a beautiful site. You have great neighbors. Uh, I've been to the site uh, a couple times. Everyone's very supportive. Uh, it's a 
It used to be a new development, but now it's over 33 years old, so your time does fly by. Yeah. Um, and to the credit of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Welsh, I know you are now your second generation and your fourth generation family living here in Lowell. Yes. Uh, your entire family has stayed here. You're, you're, you're wonderful people, and uh, we appreciate you coming forward and dealing with this um, as you did when it was brought to your attention. You're, Thank you. You're, you're, you're a good citizen. You're, you're a credit. You're a credit. Thank we appreciate, we appreciate um, citizens helping us out with these issues because inspectors are out there. Um, that's it. Uh, any other comments or concerns by the board, DPD? None being heard. We have a motion, Mr. Clark. Three, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on ZBA 2021-27 for variance approval under section 4.3.54 and section 5.1 for 77 Constance Drive to legalize an existing shed and mud room uh, constructed without the benefit of a permit. Can we have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Brea. May I have a roll call? Chairman Perrin. Approved. Member Peck. Approved. Member Callahan. Approved. Member Briere. Approval. Member Proco. Approved. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Welsh. You've been unanimously approved. You can move on in your Twilight years and enjoy your life. We thank you for thank your you. time. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Have a, Have a wonderful night. night. Yeah. Enjoy the rest thank of your you. summer. Grant, thank you. Grant, thank you very much. Moving forward under new business, ZBA 2021-29 for a special permit, Margaret Fitzpatrick at 680 Roger Street, Section 12.4. Margaret Fitzpatrick is seeking a special permit to operate a dog kennel and grooming service. The property is located in the regional Regional Retail R Zoning District. The application is applying for special permit approved under Section 12.4 and for any other relief required on the Lowell Zone Ordinance. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm well, thank you. And you? I'm very well. If you tell us a little bit about your petition and your business over there, it'd be greatly appreciated. Excellent. So, um, about two years ago, um, my business partner and I were looking at trying to do something different in Lowell. Um, and we were we looked around at different properties. We wanted to make sure that um, if we opened a dog um, daycare that there would be plenty of outdoor space because that's really important to us. Um, and then we found um, the property at 680 Roger Street and um, it served all our needs. Um, it, has, we have, it has space for two, two playrooms on the first floor, a large playroom on the second floor and a smaller playroom on the second floor, which are also used as tranquility rooms and quiet rooms for nap time. Um, the back parking lot was just over a thousand s um, square feet, and we were able to convert that into a play yard for the dogs. We have um, pea stone in parts of it and astroturf in other parts of it. Um, we also have um, various um, activities for the dogs. We have a pool. We have what's go about to be a sandbox for them. Um, we have three dog houses that they like to hang out in. Um, and we have it set up so that um, there are certain paths, so it's it slows them down, so um, we don't have, you know, a rush of dogs ever. Um, and um, Inside, we, we um, rehabbed the, so let me get back to the, the parking lot was not in good shape when we got there. It had a lot of trash. It had pieces of just random stuff. So we got rid of all of that. Um, we cleaned it up, and then we put the um, play yard down. And um, we cleaned the play yard three times a day. Uh, we sanitize it three times a day um, because keeping things clean is, is a big priority for us that we don't want anybody to walk in and ever smell anything that's other than a nice, fresh, clean location. Um, we have, we redid the floors in um, three of the playroom areas. Um, because there was carpet, and obviously with dogs, carpet is not ideal. Um, so we removed the carpet and put um, luxury vinyl um, tiling down. 
Um, so it gets cleaned three times a day as well and sanitized three times a day. Um, we really realized that in the city of Lowell, there was not any dog daycare in um, that area um, and in Belvedere. And they have the animal hospital, they have the, the um, Belvedere vet, and, and, but they don't have any daycare um, in that area of the, of the city. So anyone in Belvedere would have to go across the city in order to find daycare. And the two daycares that exist um, were pretty full and basically not accepting new um, customers. So it seemed like the, the finding the place in Belvedere was the right place to go um, so that we could meet the needs of the neighborhood. Um, uh, about two thirds of our clients live in Belvedere um, and they have all been very grateful that there's something that came to their part of the city. Um, we opened in April and apparently, obviously, did not have the, the correct permit. I misunderstood some of the directions. Um, I didn't find, I didn't um, fill out part of the, the packet of, in, of forms that I needed to do. Um, we have since gone back and filled those out and um, we have, we had a site plan drawn up um, as required. Uh, we were shut down for two days um, while we got all the, pa the correct paperwork in. Um, and so now I'm here to please petition you that you can grant us the special permit for operation of the doggy daycare. Thank you, I really appreciate the, um, the background and the history. Um, that property has had some, some turnover uh, and, and and I we do don't plan to turn over. And I, I agree with you, the, the uh, condition of it um, was becoming an eyesore, uh, not only in the front but in the back. And uh, I had been on, I've been on the property and you did a great job. Um, I would call it highway debris. It's a shame it travels down that far, but um, you've, done a, you've done a wonderful job there. And just Thank you. wanted to make that effort known because um, there was a lot of clutter there. Um, so we could move on. So that being said, I'd like to open up to the public. Anyone wishing to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? That portion of the public hearing is now closed. Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? In opposition? In opposition? That portion of the public hearing is now closed. I'd like to open up to the board. Mark? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have no questions. Uh, just a comment. I wish you the very best in your new endeavor. And thank you for your investment in Lowell. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. George? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I also, I, I think it's, it's, it's actually uh, a, a good thing to have, especially from the stats I see where in Brockton there are seven of these and it's a smaller city and in Lowell there's only two. So I would also say that I have a 150 pound giant schnauzer that if I could bring him over to your place, it'd be a lot easier than going to Peterborough, New Hampshire. <laughs> so <laughs> I would support this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, George. Ma'am? Uh, I, I don't have any uh, questions, just, you know, congratulations and thank you for investing in the city and, you know, we, we wish you the very best of luck. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Sean? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I mean, this seems like a very uh, great idea. I mean, I, the, the city will benefit from this. Obviously, you said there's only two, um, two other businesses like this that are on the other side of town, and I think the area of Belvedere will certainly benefit from this. But um, I'm just kind of curious on a couple of things. Um, I see how many parking spaces. So right now, there's proposed one, two, three, four, five, six parking, six parking spaces. Correct. Okay. Uh, how many employees is it just yourself that's working? There are three of us. Three of you, okay. Um, but only two, only two cars from the owners. Okay. Uh, now, do you have, um, do you employ like any dog walkers or any 
putty that like takes the dogs out for walks and stuff? Not at this point. Is that a, that, a, that like a plan in the future for? Um, it could be. Um, so far, we haven't had any any clients asking for that, um, but we do have connections with people who are willing to do dog walking. Okay. So should it come up as a request, then we could. Um, yeah. Think about that. Yeah, I think I'm just more thinking about especially that area right there. It's kind of on a major roadway, exactly. roadway. That's why um, we prefer it to probably would have to have the, if you have dog walkers, they probably have to pick them up, bring them, either bring them to the park or bring them to the stadium area or something like right. that. Right. Yeah, that's why we prefer to have them in the building and in the play yard, which is in the back and is has is totally fenced in with six foot high um, yeah. or eight foot high in some places. Okay. Fence. I think I'm just more bring, thinking more of the traffic flow of what's uh, what your plans are. But if you, I mean, I think you'll be able to work it out in the future um, if that's something that, you know, certainly if, if your business builds and uh, you get more uh, more clientele and more dogs than you, more dogs than you can handle, and you want to get them out and get them some more exercise, and it kind of uh, uh, just kind of looking at it from the traffic flow perspective and the parking um, and whatnot. So, so. Um, the, we have. Our clients don't park for very long because they, you know, they park, they bring the dog in, and then they leave, or they park, pick up their dog and leave. Yep. So um, there's been plenty of parking um, because it's a constant turnover during drop off or pick up time. Okay, um, I guess on the on the other end of that too, um, as far as the like boarding dogs, do you have do you happen to have board dogs sometimes overnight like people or, uh, or no. is it just strictly this just strictly. Daycare. It's strictly daycare. Day it's our understanding that we are not allowed to board dogs overnight. Okay. And th therefore, we would not ever do so. Okay. Well, and what are the hour, uh, what are the planned hours for the uh, business? From 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, no, great. Again, uh, this this makes total sense. I think it's a great uh, it's a great idea. It's going to be a great use for the for the property uh, um, you know, in that area. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Well, I'm, I'm certain that uh, it will be a booming business. It's a great location. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I've been to the site. It's, it's neat. It's clean. It's orderly. Um, you're doing a great job over there. It, I'm sure there's more pandemic puppies than you can <laughs> shake a stick at. Um, but I think overall, the work you're doing on the driveway, um, the parking lot, and, and the like, um, and as always, we welcome businesses in the city of Lowell, um, especially on that corridor. We, we don't want to start having vacant uh, properties because um, that's one of the main entrances to the city. And uh, this, this will give visitors and, and newcomers uh, as we grow bigger downtown with, with lofts and condominiums that uh, we, ha we can offer uh, these types of services to people with, with, with pets. Um, so I'm in support of this. I wish you continued success down there. And um, any other comments or concerns of the board? We have no conditions. May I have a? Through you, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on ZBA 2021-29 for a special permit approval under section 12.4 for 680 Rogers Street to operate a dog kennel and grooming service. I have a second. Second by Mr. Proko. May I have a roll call, please? Chairman Perrin. Approved. Member Peck. Approved. Member Callahan. Approved. Member Briere. Approval. Member Proco. Approval. Congratulations, you've been approved. Continue Thank you success. so much, I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Good luck. Thank you. Moving forward under new business, ZBA 2021-30 for a special permit. Chris Hunt Tron at 1519 Grant Street. Section 12.1, subsection B, Chrisant Tran is seeking a special permit to construct a two-family residential structure on a vacant lot at 15 and 19 Grant Street. The subject property is located in urban mixed-use UMU zoning district. The application requires special permit approval from Lowell, Lowell Zoning Board of Appeals per Article 12.1, subsection B for use and any other relief required on a Lowell Zoning Ordinance. Good evening, Council. How are you this evening? located at 15 and 19 Grand Street. She is here with me today, as well as our engineer, Matt Hammer. We are here tonight requesting a special permit under Article 12 for use to construct a duplex with required parking in a UMU zone. 
and a variance pursuant to Section 5.1 for relief for front yard setbacks. The property is currently a vacant lot located in an urban mixed use zoning district consisting of approximately 4,900 square feet with 70 feet of frontage on Marshall and 70 feet of frontage on Grand Street. The applicant proposes to construct a duplex facing Marshall Street due to the residential use. The construction of the duplex complies with the City of Lowell zoning requirements in a UMU district in most respects except for the front yard setback. Per Section 5.1, the front setbacks in a UMU shall be consistent with existing setbacks on the block. The plan that we have submitted shows a front setback of 20 feet where the existing buildings in the neighborhood are zero to seven feet, so we are requesting a variance. We feel that the green space, more trees along the lot lines, and having it set back will allow privacy in the backyard for people to use the deck. The development will provide new residential units in the city in need of new housing. The development will clean up a vacant lot and enhance the neighborhood. The project aligns with the intent of the Sustainable Lowell 2025 plan by providing safer, higher quality and efficient townhomes within close proximity to the train station. The property is located within the Lowell tree planting zone and is eligible for tree plantings by the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. The new plan we show shows shade trees along the lot lines which we intend to utilize. The proposed development does not pose any negative impacts on the environment. The duplex, as shown on the lot, will allow to, the, the project to have sufficient green space and trees. The City of Lowell Wastewater approved the stormwater management system, as shown on the plan submitted. The parking requirements are met by providing two spaces per dwelling unit. The proposed dwelling unit located on two on the corner of Grand and Marshall Street. The driveway as shown in the plan will be shown off of Marshall Street where there is not as much traffic as Grand Street. There are no negative impacts on public services or utilities planned for the project. The project overall has a positive impact on the city, providing for additional taxes and housing for residents and developing a lot that is vacant. Um, Matt Hammer will now take over and go over the plan that was submitted as revised today. Thank you, Councilor. Good evening, uh, Matt Hammer with Lamplex Engineering. I like the new uh, microphones that we yeah, have. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a nice, Some it's upgrades. a welcome addition to yeah, the chambers. It's nice. It's, uh, it makes public hearings very, very convenient for uh, yeah. all. So. Uh, here's the corner parcel here. Here's Grand Street and Marshall Street. We're proposing a duplex building with a 10 foot setback off the side with two driveways uh, to access each of the garage uh, areas in the front of the building. Uh, one of the comments uh, that was provided by uh, Department of Planning and Development was to add the 50% compliance to the uh, landscape space in front of the front facade. So we've added that in the revised plan that the, that the uh, board has. Uh, we've also um, added additional trees along the, the uh, streetscape, which would be shade trees. Uh, and that it allows the building, which is uh, tucked back to this side to have more of a buffer uh, from the traffic along Grand uh, Street itself. And we felt with this design, when the cars are coming in and out to the front of the unit, then the lights and everything and that functionality is in front of the unit and it's less likely to affect uh, neighboring properties that way. There's also a deck uh, in the rear of each of the properties. Um, and that'll allow for some use for each of the families, which would presumably be moving into each one of these townhouses. So with this type of layout, with it set back from the street, each person will feel as though they have their own amenities for each of the units, as opposed to you know having something up on the street and having a parking area in the back. 
um, where you're going to have a um, you know, individual property owners interacting with each other with something in the rear of the property. In this way, they feel as though they have exclusive use to those areas in the front um, uh, of the properties itself. Um, we're also um, uh, going to be uh, providing some uh, stormwater mitigation here for the roof drains, as well as uh, uh, the uh, driveway runoff itself. We'll also, as part of this, um, be doing uh, sidewalk improvements out in front of the units, uh, which are shown here as well with handicap ramps and transitions to the existing walkways for the driveway entrances. Uh, we had a, uh, a brief meeting with the Department of Planning and Development uh, today. And from that meeting, we discussed our methodology of locating the duplex on the property. And during that discussion, um, you know, we felt as though to help the buffering from the road, we would add an additional five trees than the, from the three that was originally proposed. So we added those to the plan and just updated the zoning chart was the only change on the plans. And I could put it to the board for any comments. Thank you very much. Um, I, I do like the increased uh, green space. That, that's, a, that's a bonus in the bonus round. So, Yeah, there, um, there's going to be a, it's total very of, well landscaped. Yeah. Um, you know, this property could have uh, had a density of three units. And I think uh, they're going to get more um, value out of it by having a better quality living space with it only having two as well. Yes, I agree. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that being said, I'd like to open it up to the public hearing. Like to, Anyone wish to speak in favor? I actually have a petition. Certainly. Thank you. Uh, 51 residents in Lowell. Uh, 51 residents in Lowell. Oh, one. Petition. Wonderful. So we'll read it for, for public record. We are presented by Councilor with 151 citizens of the city in favor of this uh, petition, uh, which bodes very well for for the owners. Thank you very much. We'll submit that into the documents. That being said, any others wishing to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? That portion of public hearing is now closed. Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? In opposition? In opposition, that portion of public hearing is now closed. I'd like to open up to the board. Mark? I think it's a great plan. I really do, and it's a win-win. Tremendous benefit to the city by redeveloping a vacant lot and a benefit to a new homeowner. So I look forward to seeing the project undertaken. I'll vote in favor. Thank you. George? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I would agree with Mark. I, I think, you know, you're looking at the, at the neighborhood, um, with a new construction, it would only beautify, you know, that area. And given the amenities that it's closer to the transit, also if it's a family with children, it's close to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and of course, you know, improving the, the neighborhood itself, uh, I, I think it would be a great project. I mean, it, it's better than an empty lot, so um, anything would be an improvement. So I would vote in favor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, George Van. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, I, I agree with my colleagues. I think this would be a great addition to the city. You know, it's a vacant lot. Um, you know, it could only add to the to that neighborhood and to that to the city as a whole. And, and on a side note, I know Ms. Chan and, and the family owns that sub shop next door, and they run a great business. Um, so I I know that they're responsible people, and um, this they're also people who would like to to give and. Uh, many causes in the community uh, community events. So thank you for your philanthropy uh, with all the different events. So thank we you. appreciate it. So I, I think this project is, is going to uh, be a great benefit to the city. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Van. Th and thank you for sharing uh, those comments, because uh, I'll yield. Uh, Sean, I'm sorry. Oh, OK. No. <laughs> OK. Stay in order. Stay in order. Don't gavel yourself. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm 
I mean, this, this, this seems like a, no, this is a very decent project, very well put together as always, uh, Mr. Hammer and Council, uh, the presentation. Uh, the only, the only other things I'm thinking of, I know looking at the comments from DPD, I mean, there were comments about trying to get the, moving the building up closer towards the property line to try to get it uh, to fit in a little bit more, um, you know, with the areas. I think the, for the, we're dealing with the front yard setback and the, the requirements are to be somewhere between zero and seven feet. Um, the, what, what's the distance of the driveway now again, Mr. Hammer? I'm trying to. The front facade to the uh, right of way is 20 feet. 20 feet? Uh, I mean, uh, ultimately I really have no problems with it. It's just I'm trying to figure out a way, if we, if, is, it, is there a reason why we can't move it up a little bit more just to kind of, uh, just to kind of fit it in a little bit and have a little bit more area in the back for, uh, you know, because it looks like, at least from the back end on the lowest portion, you got an 18 feet buffer between the deck and the, and the, the rear property line, um, just trying to give a little bit more back, back green space for, for potential residents. I don't know, is there some reason we can't move it up a little so, bit? So more? the rationale is to have that 20 feet f to fit a car, for the car in yeah. front of the garage. To fit the, fit the dimensions. And yeah. And, with, oh, this, yeah. and, and right. with this configuration, it actually reduces the total amount of impervious that you would have if, if okay. you tried to push the, the building up to the front and come around back because yeah. you'd have to use the uh, the whole access drive yeah. to get yeah. to the, the garages as pavement. Mm -hmm. So you do get a significant amount of uh, open space yeah. and green space out of this configuration. No, I, I, I'm sure it does. I, 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 yeah, I just want to double check and make sure. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a little bit more. So, uh, so we did look at that, yeah. um, you know, doing, put, bringing that up to the street. And then one of the, uh, the you know, one of the things you lose is that whole deck yeah. amenity, which can be one of the greatest amenity, and then amenities that you can have when you, you know, you have a very little space to use outside. And when we're on a corner lot, that became important. Yeah. So uh, when you do push that yeah. building up, you, you don't really have a decent deck amenity that you feel as a, you know. Yep. Is, is uh, I agree with price. you, and then no, I just, just, uh, Trying to just check in and see if there's more that can be done, but I mean, I, I, uh, I know you, you do you do fa fantastic work on these, and I know you do you do diligence, and I'm sure that this is the way it's going to, the best way it's going to be set it out set out. So, um, and I do like the fact that you know, we established it with the trees on the right hand side and the Grand Street side, that adds a better feature there too to try to keep it uh, to, to to make it look look better. So, um, but and again, it's. It's a very, very well put together project um, for a lot that's been vacant for a long, long, long time and needs some development. Um, this is the best way to do it. And, um, fantastic work, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Uh, I, I agree with my colleagues. Um, I think it's a wonderful use of the space. Um, you have a business in the city. Um, for the record, I received dozens of phone calls uh, in regards to this petition, all favorable. Uh, everyone spoke very highly of, of your efforts over there with your business and now turning a vacant lot uh, into a home uh, for people to come and live in our great city. Uh, and it's a tribute to you, um, what you're giving back to the city that is yours. Um, and we thank you for that. And, and adding more um, living space in tight space and coming up with a great plan is this is this is what Lowell's really all about. So I, I want to thank you um, on behalf of all the people that called me. Um, you're, you're clearly very caring uh, community people, and thank you for that. Uh, I'm in favor of this. I think it's a great plan, and it, it will serve the city for years to come. Your sign looks great uh, in front of the sub shop. Uh, so thank you once again. Any other comments or concerns by the board or DPD? None being heard, may I have a motion. Three, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on ZBA 2021-30 for a special permit approval under section 12.1B for 1519 Grand Street to construct a two-family residential structure on a vacant lot. May I have a second? I'll second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Seconded by the Vice Chairman. May I have a roll call, please? Chairman Perrin. Approve. Member Peck. Approve. Member Callahan. 
Approved. Member Briere. Approval. Member Procope. Approval. We have a unanimous approval. We wish you the best of luck. We need a vote on the variance. We need a vote. Oh, that's, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, it wasn't in the original one. Yeah, but, yeah. Sorry, it wasn't on the agenda. The special permit was on the agenda. I've got yeah. the variance, too. So we'll take a second. We have a motion for the variance. Uh, three, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion for ZBA 2021-30 for a variance approval under Section 5.1 for front yard setback for 1519 Grand Street to construct a two-family residential structure on the vacant lot. And may I have a second? I second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Seconded by the Vice Chair. May I have a roll call, please? Chairman Perrin. Uh, approve variance. Member Peck. Uh, approve the variance. Member Callahan. Approve variance. Member Breer. Approval. Member Procope. Approve the variance. The variance has been unanimously approved. It's wonderful to see you all back in chambers. Thank you for all your efforts. Thank you. We'll submit this into the public record on your 151. Thank you for keeping me on my toes, Council. We're not, we're not yes, thank you very much <laughs> for your making us aware. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh, no, no, we'll be fine. Thank you, though. <laughs> Due diligence for the public good. Moving forward under other business, we have minutes for approval for July 26th meeting, 2021. Members of the board, any edits, revisions, concerns, additions? None being heard. We have a motion to accept. Three, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes for July 26th, 2021. I have a second. Second. A roll call. Chairman Perrin. Move and accept the minutes. July 26, 2021. Member Peck. Uh, accept the minutes for July 26, 2021. Member Callahan. Accept minutes for July 26, 2021. Member Briere. Acceptance. Member Proco. Uh, accept the minutes yeah, July 26, Any other comments, concerns from the board? None being heard. May I have a motion to adjourn? Three, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. And a second. A second motion, Mr. Second Chairman. by the Vice Chair. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you for your time.